Meanwhile, makers of a nasal spray claim it will help protect you from airborne viruses like COVID-19. And though the FDA hasn't approved it, you can still buy it over the counter. Tonight in Love and Alive's Teresa Bowles talked to a doctor at Piedmont Hospital about how it works, and she also asked Atlanta residents if they try it anyway. Makers of Covixel state that a few sprays could protect you for up to six hours. So say if you're heading to the Falcons game this week or maybe to see rapper Drake next week, you feel a little safer in those large crowds. There's always something going on in Atlanta, especially if you've got a few grandkids to entertain. I go to a lot of children's events and a lot of football games. CDC's numbers are showing a slight increase in COVID cases. At the same time, the CDC last week approved an updated vaccine. An extra layer of possible protection could include nasal sprays like Covixel. I'd be willing to try that. Much more than a shot. ELHA is one of the active ingredients. A spokesperson for the company says it, quote, binds to the mucosal cells and protects on the surface of the cells rather than entering the cells or bloodstream. It does have some uh, animal studies and at least one human early human data that shows some effectiveness. Dr. Jane Morgan with Piedmont Hospital explains that it forms a sticky barrier in the nose that makes it hard for the virus to get into your lungs. It has some decrease in viral load in the first three hours, not necessarily in six hours, so whether or not it needs to be uh, re-administered. But to be clear, it does not provide antibodies, nor does it treat or prevent COVID. But along with the vaccine, it can act as an extra layer of protection against not just the coronavirus, but any airborne virus. What it doesn't show is whether or not it actually decreases replication of the virus, which we know is also important. Overall, Morgan says Covixel seems to be low risk, but there just isn't a lot of data right now. And while Bond's granddaughter may have her reservations. I still would feel a little more comfortable, like actually having like it's safe and getting tested on people. Bond said she'd be willing to drop around 20 bucks to give it a try without FDA approval. I think the FDA approved some of the other shots way too soon. In Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.